We're losing! Teamwork, guys. More teamwork. They're burying us alive! Well, shit. Jeez, Louie. Honey, don't you want to beat those bastards? We're gonna be winners. What's the matter? You got nothing left inside, huh? Because you're training like a damn bum, you know that. Screw them. What are I you doing? Dead. What are people doing? Is this early access to. Hey, let me tell you something, bro. Get out there now and do the best you can. Oh, jeez, Louise. It's only jeez. me and Matt. Where the, hell, oh. where, the, where the hell's Eric? I miss Eric. I miss him already. Less than a nanosecond in, and we already miss Eric. <laughs> oh, I welcome, miss him already. Everybody. Welcome to episode 161 of the Bad Fodder Figures podcast. Matt, you know, I've been listening to other podcasts periodically uh, over the last week or so, and they do a mighty fine job of... Um, you know, introing themselves like for new listeners who might be, you know, going up and down their podcast dial and, and might not be aware of what their podcast is. So if we have any new people out there, which I doubt, but if we did, how, how would you describe bad fodder figures to the to the noob listening to us? A dumpster fire. <laughs> a dumpster. A, we cover a plethora of topics. We go off the rails so much on this show. It is incredible. I would just like to say they were just like 90 minutes of one loosely and largely based sexual innuendo after one right after the other. That'd be a... Yeah. That'd be yeah. A- that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good hot take. That's a good hot take right there. You know, I mean, yeah. it's, it's one topic after the other. There is no... Even though there's an agenda, there's a planner, there is no role to this show. It's just... It just happens. It's a cornucopia of nonsense. You could say that. <laughs> you, you could say that. You know. Yeah. And it's not even November, but I do wish it was November. Two week and, two uh, week and days of hard outside yard work, and I'm ready for fucking. I'm ready for winter. That's it. I'm no, sir. Up. I'm ready. Right no, to, sir. Let's go right to November. We'd already be in football no. season. We'd be closing in on Thanksgiving, and Christmas would be right around the corner. No, we sir. Don't, I, we don't need the next no. seven months. We don't need the next I do. seven months. I do. I, I want my. I want baseball to be over. Okay. I want not, baseball to be over. Not not, not the Reds. No, not, not MLB. This, this not hold. This wannabe MLB. This, this not, not hold. Whole league. Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. We had we had a we had a hell of a game yesterday, and some situations happened, and people getting ejected and shit. It's like, oh my god, I'm done with this fucking drama. I'm done with this fucking bullshit. Adults being adults and kids, tra- kids. Kids being more adults than the than the adults. A little bit of both, dude. A little bit of both. You know, the the umpire had to give warnings out and said, you know what, this is no longer, longer being fun. There's a warning to the coaches here, warning to the coaches here, and that goes for the parents also. I was like, thank God. And no warning to score keeper scorekeeper sixty nine. You're right the fuck out of here. <laughs> There's an issue there too. Oh, there was an issue sure. there too yesterday. <laughs> You know, oh, so I keep, you know, God obviously I, I got to keep score, okay? And, I, and I've got a clicker. I, I keep pitch count, all right? Pitchers get 80 pitches. Uh-oh. All right. No more, no less, <laughs> right? The other guy went 81, and you stood up and was like, you got to no, no go. No more, no less. That's that correct, you know? And we're going through, and every inning, you got to check the pitches, all right? He's got 23. Our guy's got 20 and 1. All right, cool. Go back and forth. Then. Well, the one inning came around, so I, I got... 35 on you. No, I'm sorry. I had 43 on you and 35 on us. And the lady's like, uh, no. I got, I got 45 on you guys and only 33 on us. I was like, you got it backwards or something. And she, and she had this tap. 69 thing. does not make mistakes. I do not make mistakes. <laughs> and that's what someone, the, the, the parent next to me says, he doesn't make mistakes like that. We were 10 off. We were 10 pitches off. Okay. No, sometimes we're off maybe two, three. And we, all right, cool. That's cool. You know, we'll round we it up. Whatever. Right. 
but we're 10 off. Can't have and they had, 10, they had 10 less on their pitcher and 10 more on our pitcher. I was like, this, no, uh-uh. So, this ain't right. And was, and their, it, was their pitcher good? He was okay. Yeah. He was okay. Yeah, he was throwing some heat. He, 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 was, he, was, he was doing pretty good. <clears throat> and so we are trying to figure this out and that. And, and, I, and uh, I'm talking to her and their coach. I was like, I've never been off by this much. I've never been this wrong. And he says, well, you're wrong now, aren't you? And Bob comes out. Uh, let me just tell you, he's, he's wrong all the time. Let's put it on the record here. I said, what? He said, well, you're wrong now, aren't you, obviously? I was like, no, I'm not. I said, my clicker does not lie. <laughs> oh, my God. And our coach, our first base coach was there, kind of hearing all those things. like, yeah, he, yeah, he's never had issues like this. And it went back and forth, and finally, but you know, finally it went back and forth, and, and it went, you know, the home, the home field has got the score, they got the scorebook, and they've got the count. So whatever comes up, you know, it's their call. Yeah. So it came up them, but it, you know, and then a call came up later on in the field. There was a little arguing back, and their coach was like, "It's okay, we got our pitch count right. We know how to we know how to count pitches." And I stood up. I just stared at him. No. I, I didn't say. I didn't, I didn't say who said that or anything like that. Yeah, where is that? Where is that? God damn it! We need yeah. a sound. We need a sound man. <laughs> Fucking sound man is asleep. Who said that? <laughs> yeah. So that was a whole. Uh, anyways, but we lost. We ended up losing the game, unfortunately, by one run. It sucked. But that was one of those coaches. The coaches on the other side have, like, kids that were playing? Yes. Mm -hmm. I would have drilled that fucking kid right in the fucking hip. Oh, wow. Well, it, well, and, and, and I didn't miss that pitch. Did you get that pitch? Did you count that you pitch? That, I got that one there. I counted that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, I'm, I'm so done with this drama. So done with this bullshit, Mike. This is, this is, our, this is our last year. Playing <laughs> fucking baseball. This is it. You've told Barb this. You've made it crystal clear. Oh, it's it is definitely crystal clear to Barb. And yes, what, she what, knows. And what does she say? Okay. <laughs> okay. Barb's yeah, a little we, bit in the doghouse between um, you know, signing up for another season adventure of not hole baseball, and now there's a uh, there's a vacation planned for late summer. I'm, I mean, yes. you don't have to give me the exact details, but roundabout financial figures. What would you say is costing you? Too much. Too much. You know, I had a nice. Is that is that is that is that, a, is that an answer? Too I had much. A nice, I had a nice two bedroom <laughs> uh, cottage down the Cape that would you know be a lot cheaper for you. Let me tell you, my my sky miles are gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could have drove here. You wouldn't even have to use your miles. I would have been fine. That'd I been fine. Left, but, I, you would know, even, I would even left you the car to uh, the Toyota to use because it's got all this. It will have all the stickers for the um, for the for the beaches and the dump. You know, you want to oh, go. Yeah? To, you want to go to a fancy the dump. Place. The dump. Wow. <laughs> you take you're, you're not holding back any of that any you, of that stuff. Are you, you? Think I'm, you think I'm throwing your trash away? Well, isn't that what the ocean's for? Can't just throw it out in the ocean. You, this is a, this is a very uh, fancy dump. You would like it. A lot of scrapping. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of I might, I might come away with stuff. Can can we leave with stuff? There's a lot of metal over there. There's a big, huge pile of scrap. <laughs> can we can we leave with items from the know. dump? No, it says no picking. No. Oh, so people do that thing. Obviously, obviously, so people must be doing that thing. People must be coming to get picking. the metals. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, I would have left you the, car, the Toyota with the beach stickers. You know, could have went to the beach. We so probably would have flown there. <laughs> yeah? We Yeah, we probably would have flown there. Hell yeah, dude. I get, I get extra time doing that. So now, oh, hell all, yeah. now they're all gone, though. They're gone. It's all gone. So so when that happens, so when they when they leave, are you going to go, like, uh, camping nude in the woods, like in your uh, property? Sure, why not? <laughs> hey, just because we're on vacation doesn't mean I can't be on vacation too. 
What was that show? Na- Naked and Alone or something like that? <laughs> Naked and Afraid? <laughs> no, that's just every night. Um, oh. oh, yeah, that's so what I'm... your wife says when you come into bed. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe Naked and Frayed. That could have been one of some one of those like Discovery Channel shows, right? Like they just yeah, thrown, yeah. thrown in the woods, thrown on the uh, yeah, uh, throughout the wilderness, naked, no clothes. Yeah, man, woman. I watched like one episode of that. Didn't really get through it, and like someone got like within like five minutes, someone got a bite like where they shouldn't have got like got bitten, and they had to like get rescued by the staff. Was, like, what did you fucking think was going to happen? I I I I, I don't understand that show. I mean, I'd be Straight up, brung, you know. I mean, you think so? especially if some hot, ch- oh, some especially if some hot chick there, like, hey, <laughs> you know, just swinging, you know, oh. swinging dicks around. I Shit. think I'd have the opposite problem. All the fucking bugs biting me, snakes going around, all the fucking poison. Well, that is an issue. Yeah, yeah, that would I be. Wanna, an issue. I don't want to entice them by anything, you know. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. they just see that thing out there, you know. Just oh, look at this, fresh meat. <laughs> so. Well, here we are, another Sunday night, episode 161. Uh, no glove box tonight. We have no idea if he's got um, uh, job issues, if he's at the J-O-B and can't break away, or if he's got a little he's, – he, maybe he's got his, his own little drumstick out and doing something. You know, maybe he had a – Maybe he's naked and afraid right now. Yeah, maybe he had a little uh, romance call. Maybe he had a last-minute booty call because it was a, a – la- I just got to say, Matt, you know, I'm – you're just breaking my stride there. I was going to say Eric had a last-minute booty call, but fucking Christ, you got a Reds hat on, a Reds hoodie, and a red sippy cup. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Marge, Scott, Marge Scott ain't got shit on you. Holy fuck. Oh, Marge shot taught me, taught me Marge, everything I knew. Marge shot. Marge shot. 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 Not Scott. Shot. Not Excuse Scott. Me. Yeah. 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 And shot see that dog, that fucking dog that was shit on the field. Every time I went out there, it was shit on the field. And the little groundskeeper guy came out and cleaned it up. I mean, you don't have Poor to show guy. us, but can you confirm or deny if you have like reds, like like underwear or socks on right now? I do have red color underwear on. No. I do. I do have red color underwear. That black socks. The hell of a thing. I think they won today hey. too. Yes, they did. Yeah. Big game against the Cubs. Hell of a game. Well, it's good. It's good that you're keeping them in, you know, with the merchandise. It's very crisp. It looks crisp. It all looks brand new. It doesn't look ratty. Speaking of merchandise, oh you no, know, this is this is top notch shit here. This yeah, is good. Nike, this is Nike. I mean, yeah, this, Nike man. This hat here, uh, you know, this is good top notch shit. Speaking of merchandise, yeah. the Bengals uh, released new uniforms last week. Oh yeah, new crisp, new clean uniforms. You know, redesign. Yep. Guess what's arriving uh, this coming Wednesday? A new Bengals Borough jersey. I, you know we've gone down nine. this. We've gone down this path. I have been. If everybody takes a look at Matt and can envi- envision me, uh, you know, fifteen twenty years ago, I was you fifteen twenty years ago because no. none of my teams could fucking win. And then, sl- and then slowly as I start, they started winning. And I started getting all this championship merchandise. The I did. I no longer bought the merchandise. Because I felt you like got bored. Well, I don't think I got bored. I feel like everybody else had it. You know, what I mean, I felt like I was going out, and we were just all like this cult. You know, we were all wearing this fucking sports, same sports shit. You know, I never want to look like everybody else. Obviously, look at this fucking mess over here. Well, yeah, it's good that you're supporting the home team, Matt. No one can, no one can ever question your uh, loyalty. You know what That's I mean? That's true. I'm a homer. Speaking of Homer, did you um, did your team draft anybody of note? I saw a couple offensive linemen here and there in the late rounds. And the Patriots made a trade with you guys. Patriots wanted to yep. move move up in the second round to uh, draft a uh, kind of tweener. He's like a defensive end linebacker type guy from Alabama. So <clears throat> they made a trade so we could move up. We got our Mac Jones from Alabama, the number fifteen pick. I think he's Alabama think? man. We were having this conversation the other night. I think Wednesday night. Like, who the fuck would ever draft a guy named Billy Price? Billy Price. You just think Billy if Price. you if you just drafted a guy with that name, you think he'd pan out and be a good player? I just right away, I know he's not going to be a good player. Now, what do you say if you sit there and go Mac Jones, and you envision a quarterback, Mac Jones having a good career or not? What do you think? 
I gotta say no, Mike. I gotta say no too. I gotta say no, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what what about a name like Jamar Chase? Jamar Chase. That's a whole other thing right there. Why I think not? I think a lot of people in Cincinnati were wanting that O, oh, that offensive lineman, uh-huh. but they took the uh, wide receiver Jamar Chase instead. Uh, Burrows. Uh, oh, ex- oh, now I know wide receiver. About yeah, 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 from LSU. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I close my eyes, Jamar Chase. Jamar- if you say it enough times, it maybe it comes true. Jamar Chase. <laughs> Jamar- I don't know. Nope. <laughs> It's a wide receiver thing. I, I mean, the first thing that comes up is that the, he's been, you know, he's been demoted to the practice squad. That's the first thing when I'm thinking. That's what just keeps, you know, I keep closing my eyes. I keep saying it. And it just flashes in the background. Practice squad. Practice squad. Because in my mind is money selling. <laughs> yeah. Money's a name like that, and mm-hmm. I think, I think, I think, uh, I think he's going to cost us. Well, they're all. What do you mean? They all have the same con. They all have. They're all slotted in. You don't sign any of these guys to exorbitant contracts anymore. Sure you do. No, but it's all it's all predetermined. Like you can't have a guy drafted like fifteenth um, making more than a guy who's been drafted thirteenth. You know if he I mean? wants more, he sure as hell can. No, it's all. Slotted he might not in. get signed for it. They are. It's it's like the Patriots already know what they're paying Mac Jones. It's like he's getting like thirteen point five million over five years, and he gets an eight point six million signing bonus. And if he was the if he was like, um, I don't know, like I forget what they said. If they traded up and took him at another position, it would have cost him like thirty four point something million. Is this something new? <clears throat> no, they restricted uh, structured it like seven years ago, according to Ch- Ian Hale and uh, Chat. So there's no more like holding out anymore. It's like this is your deal. You take it or leave it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a little bit of haggling, some some details, but that's why you don't really hear too many guys holding out anymore. Okay. It's how you get you get slotted in. Interesting. Okay. You like a piece of ram. You just get slotted in. Boom. You get slotted in. Is it yeah. <laughs> Now you can tell by your reaction. You think I'm full of shit. No, I, no, I, 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 I didn't know it was around for seven years. I mean, because, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't hear anything with Joe Burrows, right? He was just boom. He was like signed. No, there was but, no, there was no but, negotiating, but, but, right? No, but that's because he always said he, he, whoever he got signed with, he, you know, he went cause an issue or anything like that. He always said, okay, you know, you ever get signed with, and that's what it is. And, like I'm sure they cannot sign. Like I'm sure that's like one option. Like like no, I don't want to go to your team, but I don't think they can uh, haggle over the dollars. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So right. you you feel good about your team? A couple offensive linemen, Jamar Chase. Yeah, Jamar Chase. He, I mean, we you know with AJ Green being gone now, we needed a wide receiver um, and someone who's familiar with Burrow. It's probably a good thing. I'd rather have the offensive line to protect Burrow, you know, um, so he doesn't get hurt again. But uh, it is what it is. Got a couple offensive linemen down in the draft, and uh, they went heavy in defense also. So, I don't know. See how it works out for the Bengals. Be a year or two. Maybe they uh, they, might, they might they might work out. Now, you've been um, going over to uh, Burrow's house and limbering up the ACL, giving him the – the, the pinpoint massage, lots of thumbs mm-hmm. and four. Yep, a lot, lot of that. Yeah, yep, absolutely. I, I've, been, you know, yeah, I've, I've been, I've been massaging this leg. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he tells me when to stop. So, you know, which is normally within you, you five have, minutes. You have a, you have a safety word. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sa- sa- safety word is ocho cinco. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. boy! Like I said at the top, it's, it's just really fucking ninety minutes of sexual innuendos here. Welcome to bad fodder figures. Absolutely. I'm excited for the uh, season next year. See yeah, let's get right. Let's get right to it. Fuck these, fuck these next seven months. Let's get right into no, it. No, 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 no. What do you need uh, to do? You, go need down... to go to, you need to go to Coney Island and watch the friggin' <laughs> fat guys and their thongs and see the sights at Coney. Okay. Last time you know, we saw it... Coney, it was rained. It was like washed out. Mm-hmm. It's all gone yeah, away. It's, it's it's fine now. 
It's fine. They're, they'll be filling up the pool here in a couple of weeks. You start smelled, the pool you up. smelled on your non-ride to work. Got my non-ride to work. I'll be smelling it. You're right. <laughs> no updates on that. Going back to the office, I know at my um, at my place, you know, obviously uh, they have a lot of you know many many hundreds of of offices, so they're slowly ramping you know people back in fifty percent. You know, no word on it your one though. Once the restrictions in Ohio are lifted, we'll probably go back. But until then, I don't see it happening. So you are you been home almost a year? Oh, over a year now. Over a year. Yeah, yeah. March twentieth was my last day at work a year ago. March twentieth of twenty twenty. So I'm gonna see if you'd yeah. like going back in. I don't know if I will. I oh. like it. I like it here at home. Might Fucking hold out. You're a company. Lunch time. You're a company man. If they tell you to do naked jumping jacks, you're gonna do them. But you know. Well, that's because I like it. But <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> oh boy. What are you going to do, folks? You know, he's incorrigible. I, you know, I try to lead him these things where he says, no, Mike, that's frowned upon at work. I shouldn't be fucking juggling my man meat at work. And he's like, no, I like it. I like it. It depends who he's in front of, too. You know. You want to keep going? Now, see, I can do that at home here. I can, I can, <laughs> you know, juggle my meat at home here when Barb comes down. Yeah, you how's know, that working stuff. for you? It's not working. <laughs> It's not working out either. No, no, there's, there's, no. Yeah, it's probably time for the next topic. All right. Well, um, (laughs) before we move on to more of the intro, last week I neglected to play. I want to apologize here to Los. I neglected to play his um, voicemail. We were so engrossed in whatever conversation we were talking about. Who knows what the hell that was? I can't remember. But I uh, totally neglected to play his voicemail. So we're going to play it now, and then I think he's got another voicemail after that where he yells at me for not playing the voicemail I'm about to play. Oh, I like it. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> it's going to be the Los show here for a minute. Perfect. Yo, what is up? Yo, this is Los. Phew. Just went out for a little brisk walk. Uh, what, what's going on? How things Sandals going? Sandals and socks. What is, what is new? What's what's shaken? What you know? What's good? All that stuff. Uh, calling, calling to uh, to 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 rub it in that that I went to a baseball game yesterday, and and it was it was fun. It was good. Uh, they're doing I think it's twenty percent capacity, and uh, and it was it was pretty like there's a lot of people. Like it felt like a lot of people, but I think it's because you know COVID. COVID makes anything. <laughs> the pandemic makes everything seem like a lot of people. Uh, so, but it was it was good. There was there was no issues. There was one guy got kicked out because him and his girlfriend like they didn't want to wear a mask. Scorekeeper so, got my so they got guy. kicked out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were told numerous times, and every every inning between the innings, uh, people are telling you to put your mask on and everything. So. Uh, so yeah, that was fun. Uh, but, but, uh, but here I am, uh, let me see how much time I got. Oh, I got time. I got plenty of time. So, uh, it yeah, is you my, got a whole hour. my birthday coming up, you know, pimping, pimping myself out there. But, uh, but I just wanted to, to bring, I bring it up because, uh, you know, we're all gamers and all that. And I don't know if you guys may or may not have noticed I have a problem uh, with, you know, buying vinyl records. And uh, I tried getting Mike in on my problem, and he didn't bite. <laughs> he was very quick to, to shoot that plane down. And uh, and I also uh, currently picking up my problem again for, for Legos. And uh, and I'm I'm getting spoiled by by the wife and my mother. They, they got me some pretty big sets for, uh, for my birthday. So, uh, so I'm asking you guys, what are your other hobbies that are not games? Like, do you have anything that uh, the other people don't know about? Uh, <laughs> well, let and me I'm tell not you. looking for, you know, seducing this your wife or doing things like that. I'm oh, looking damn. for actual hobbies. <laughs> so, That's uh, a full-time so, yeah, job. I, I want to hear. Well, 
crazy stuff like Matt collects little glass figurines and stuff like that, you know? Uh, so, so let me know. Let me know what you guys do, what you're into, and all that good stuff. And peace out. Have a good show. All right, Lo. That's Lo's edition one. Um, what are those little f- – my grandparents, grandmother – had like those little like glass figurines. You know what I'm talking about? They had like Hummels. You know, is that what they're called? Well, I don't know. Hummels are like the little like little kid figurines that were different poses and stuff like that. Yeah, and and like Hummels. they had like little colors in the glass, you know, like you know what I mean? Like little No, like... that's something different there. Okay. Well I'm yeah, not up on different. these little tchotchkes. Hummels. <laughs> yeah. I know what you're talking about though. Yeah, it's like some like little like glass figurines. You know what I mean? They would have like little like towards the end they would have like little accent notes. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dustables, yeah. goddamn dustables. Oh my god, I hate that shit. Yeah. Um, well, let's break the whole call down there. So he went to a game. I mean, I imagine twenty percent capacity at a at a Rays game has got to be like twenty percent capacity. It's got to be usual standard operating procedure. I, I'm going to say it's like a regular game, probably right. Yeah. I'd like to see a game at the Trop, though. You know, that'd be nice. Really? Just, to, just to inter- Yeah, sure. I'd see the different parks. You know, one of the greatest uh, memories of me, like, at a baseball game was going to see the Expos and Red Sox in Montreal at the oh, old that. Uh, at that old stadium they had there. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was, Exhibition it was, Stadium. It was so, like, you know, old and, like, run down and weird. It had, like, one concession stand for, like, majority of the park. And they, you get these big fucking like Molson cups of like beer. You know, you didn't need like more than one concession stand because the thing would last you like you know half a game. Um, I, would, I would not want to. I would not want to go to Tropicana Field. No, I'm not make, going out of the way for it. But if I'm there, you know, I mean, you know, well, if I'm there, sure. If I'm there and Los is buying my ticket, I'll go. But besides that, it just seems like a bland, blah stadium. But it's just like it's got so many intricacies and so many stupid shit up there in the catwalks that it's That's not true. I want to see how that That's all plays, plays and looks live. They say That's it's true. a tremendous place to see a game. Like when I hear the Red Sox announcers, um, they talk about like just like watching a game. It's supposed to have great sight lines. Oh, I'd imagine so. The game, game place is a circle. It can't have a like old Riverfront Stadium. You can't have a bad seat in the place. Hmm. <clears throat> so let's get into hobbies here. Uh, Shonuff, what's up? Uh, he says in chat, I used to run hobby grade RC cars back in the day with my dad. If I ever fell off gaming, I'd probably get back into that. <clears throat> Matt, you know, you're a man with many different things going on. You're a scorekeeper aficionado. You know, pipe, used to have going to this pipe club. That was probably mm-hmm. a hobby. But yeah, was. If, I had to, if I had to guess what you might say as a hobby is you're, you're cooking, you're grilling. Is that would that be a now? You don't really yes. collect anything with that though, but that would be a hard. No. You, you collect paraphernalia. You collect the grills. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, grills and the utensils that go with it. Sure, yeah, but it, I would say cooking, grilling is definitely a hobby. Smoking, uh, I don't know, riding my motorcycle is that? Mm. I mean, is that considered a hobby? Something to do? But uh, yeah. how about collecting? Do you collect anything? Red skier, sports gear. Yeah. Red skier, sports gear. I when was the that. last time you smoked a cigar? Is that frowned upon by your doctor? Yeah, probably a year. Probably a year, year or so. It's probably oh, last wow. time I had a cigar. Oh, wow. I thought you were going to say last Sunday. No, no. I, no that used to be a Sunday thing, man. Remember? That used to be so, a Sunday thing, man. So our, so our T-shirts that are out there, Matt, do you want to give them the link to the merch? Um bitly slash bff merch if you wanted to buy a shirt it's false advertisement your picture on there with the cigar you don't even smoke cigars anymore no no it's been no it's been yeah it's probably been a year at least now would you say that you collected cigars like different types or were you always buying the same no well i always would go you know get my usual but then there'd be i'd get something different you know spice it up different yeah change things around yeah Mm -hmm. God, I remember, yeah, no cheap cigar Sunday. Yeah, I haven't had to yeah. Sit there with the grill, Reds game going with a drink. Your smoke mandals. A cigar. My mandals. And jorts. My hell jorts. A, it's a hell of a day. I'll tell you what, man. Times change. 
Yeah. Still got the jorts and mandals, just no cigar. Yeah, I got the jorts. I got the jorts, got the mandals. Yep, no cigars. <laughs> well, but otherwise, no real uh, collecting hobbies, right? That we can think yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's not. Collect bills. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> collect bills. Yeah, collect bills and pay them. Um, but, I mean, you know, I used to, back in the, God, back in the day, you know, well, I'm sure you do baseball cards. I was a huge baseball card back in the day. Mm. That type of stuff. I yeah. dabbled back in that again, like, in uh, the early 2000s for a hot minute. Uh-huh. And then I was like, what am I doing? I'm putting all these pieces of cardboard in a box. I'm spending exorbitant amounts of money on them. Then you'd hunt. You'd have to hunt down like the cards with the signatures. You know they didn't have that when we were kids. They, but then they had cards with no. signatures and uh, memorabilia like pieces of the base and fabric of the glove, fabric of the shirt. Yeah. 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 Baseball card collecting used to be a simple thing. Just go out and you buy the packs and open them up, and see what you got. But then they start coming out with like special editions, and like I said, there's shit in the packs that you had to collect too, and all sorts. And it's like, okay, wait a minute now. Yeah, all the variants and all the other shit. Yeah, and then you could do like, like you like, oh my god, like so this was like the early two thousands. Like, oh my god, I got a, a Nomar card, a fantastic Nomar card. But then you like look it up and like you got like the most vanilla generic version of that card, and they have like three to four more versions, same exact pose, everything looks the same except it's got like a silver foil, gold foil, bronze foil on it. You know, one with the kung fu grip. You know. Do, do, you, do you have any of your baseball cards still? No, I sold them all. They're all gone. You have, you have, you have none. I was moving. This is a funny story. I was moving. Um, well, I don't know if I was moving. I think I was just having a yard sale. Lynn wanted to. I think we were redoing the basement in the old house, and we needed to get rid of shit. So we had a yard sale. So I had all these cards out. The guy wanted them, and he was like, you know, an old timer. Yeah, my wife doesn't doesn't know I'm here. She doesn't like me spending money on it. And we, we talked to price and he says, No, I probably shouldn't. The wife would be, you know, upset. <clears throat> Not even like twelve hours went by. I got an e- you know, a phone call or email the next morning from the guy. Yep, I'm coming by to get them all. <laughs> you know, he, he slept on it, you know. Yeah. Couldn't pass it up. I've i I've still got some. I've still got some out in a container in the garage. I got some of my Better kept ones that I wanted to keep still there. I had, the rest um, I just threw in the garbage. My uncle in uh, seventy nine eighty worked like a convenience store. Like he was just like graduated high school and had like a summer job or whatever. And <clears throat> he used to work in a convenience store. And he used to get me every Sunday. We'd go to my grandmother's for you know dinner, the Italian dinner, and he'd come from the store and he'd have like just you know packs after packs of uh baseball cards for me <clears throat> and so i take them oh, home wow. i take them home separate them all by team you know the checklist and everything like that i had some pretty good um some pretty good cards i brought them over to my friend's house one thing led to another you know we went out somewhere i left the cards over there i got them back like a i don't know a couple months later all the, the the old man took all my good cards. Oh, you know what I mean. And I was like a little kid. I was a little. I was little kid to the point that I knew like I was missing cards, but I was a little. I was too young to like say anything. I just, you know, got home de- defeated, going, "Wow!" Like my friend and his dad went through my cards, took all the good ones, and just left me with all the, the fucking shit cards. Oh, that's, oh God! You know? Oh, I oh no. But I was like, you know, what was I going to do? I was like, you know, had to be like in <clears throat> somewhere between second and fifth grade, somewhere in that, in that vicinity. Sure. Because that, that kid stopped going to my school. So that's how I know. <clears throat> I stopped hanging around with him after he moved to a different school. But fuck, I got all my cards, good cards got taken. Podcast. That would that would this piss, is that would a ter- me maybe this is <laughs> maybe this is like a therapy here. Maybe this explains all my pent up <laughs> anger and aggression. It could be. It could be why you're down on everything all the times. Did we Your just stumble? Did, did we just stumble upon something here? We just broke the fourth wall or something. Yeah. I think. Uh, let's see. Who says Hot Wheels? Show enough. So used to collect Hot Wheels. Hot I Wheels so I still have my Hot Wheels as a kid. I, those didn't get taken. Um, 
and uh, my youngest son plays with them every now and then. He's got them. I still have them like in the uh, those blue suitcases. You know what I mean? Yeah. With the, yeah. The, the double trays in them. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, I used to love Hot Wheels. Oh, Hot Wheels were the. Yeah, had then he had the inferior Matchbox cars. But well, I Hot had, Wheels. I probably had a mix of both Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Oh, I did too. But Hot Wheels were far superior. I think we got vaguely. We got a little bit back into Hot Wheels when my had when we had our first kid. You know, I'd be in the store, you know, grocery store shopping as a family, the three of us, and he'd want something, and, you know, he would play with the cars, and then he got the cars. My mother was like, oh, you got all these cars, why don't you play with your dad's old cars? And then he had a whole bunch of cars. And who knows yeah. where, who knows if those got moved with us or not. Yeah, Hot Wheels, grown up, and Legos. I was a huge Lego fan. Yeah, Legos. We oh, had all the um, Spaceman, 80s sp- generic Spaceman sets. Yeah. You know, you could make all those like lunar landings and shit like that. Yep. All those, yeah. Yeah, Lego was Lego was a shit, man. God. You know, I, I my hobby, I collect televisions, Matt. You do? I yes, you do. You do collect televisions. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, Los was talking about you know trying to get me into vinyl. I do like the the vinyl, the look of it, all the gate folds and the colored vinyl. I, mm-hmm. Every time I see it, I'm like, hmm. That would be a hell of a rabbit hole to go go down. Lynn would kick my ass. Vinyl is making a comeback, isn't it? Yeah, vinyl's been popular for a number of years again, yeah. But I am thinking of getting um, the LG CX 48-inch uh, television here for like a gaming monitor for my desk. You know, the, the, the top-end LG CX TVs. Uh-huh. Know, so I can get like the uh, 120 hertz and the... Uh, HDMI 2.1 and all that stuff. Yeah. So I can't be I can't be going down uh, the rabbit hole of vinyl when I'm well, about to drop fifteen hundred on a on a TV slash monitor. Well, I mean there there is that, but yeah. I mean that sounds pretty sweet though. Yeah, we'll see if it happens or not. We it got this. Uh, we Let's got this. It. We got this stimulus thing in the mail that um. Years ago, when we we got our first mortgage at the last house. I guess we had to open up some sort of like savings account to get the mortgage, and so we put some sort of money in there, and it's just been you know accumulating for about twenty years. So we got a couple, couple two three grand in there that we didn't know. Wow! About. So wow! So I might, like, uh, yeah, it's like yeah. my stimulus I didn't know about. So maybe I'll um. So maybe I'll get the LG CX for my uh, my little workstation here. We'll see. There's no maybe. You might just do it. You just you just do it. The guilt factor. The gu- the guilt factor is guilt. Why guilt for what? I don't know. I could be just using that it. money for something else. Like what? You know, fucking kid's car insurance that's about to come through because he's pestering our ass every fucking day to get his permit. You know, that, he just completely That's why he buy the fucking TV monitor thing now. <laughs> that way when you get out, you go, well, I'm paying for insurance now. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. So I can't buy it. No, you buy the fucking thing now. And then, <laughs> you know, down the road, you make your wife work a little bit more to pay for insurance <laughs> and shit like that. And you'll be fine. See that, folks? Problem solved. Uh, Shona says he's probably going for the LG C1. Uh, I'm not sure what the C1 is. Is the C1 better than the CX, or I'll have to compare and contrast? Everybody keeps saying the CX is the one to get. Uh, Never heard of either. So, yeah, hobbies for me, television, gaming headsets, um, controllers. controllers. I'm going to have a I'm gonna have a nice show for you next week, controller-wise. I don't, I don't want to do half of it this week. I want to do it. I want to give you the full gusto next Ooh. week. Ooh, okay. a little teaser. A little teaser, just a tip. A little, ooh. Well, t- show enough says that's the 2021 version. Mm, I'm going to have to look that up because I do. See, Mike, have, you're, you're outdated be, already. I you're outdated cur- already, Mike. I want to be current. Is the C1 uh, already out, readily available? Can I get it now? I, sh- I need a strike while the iron's hot, as Matt says. See, Mike, Mike needs now, All not right. past now. Let's um. Let me take my la- tongue lashing here from Los. He's gonna yell at me for not playing his voicemail. Oh, this is this should be good. Yo, it's me again. I'm leaving another voicemail. Uh, it's 
it's uh, it doesn't count as being you know a two two for you know, but uh, it's it's not my fault because you know I I sent in a voicemail last week and uh, somebody didn't play it, so whatever I'm not not hurt or anything you know I'm just saying, but uh, but I wanted to say I hope Eric uh, had a had a nice uh, you know. Nice, nice time with the camera up his butt. Oh, maybe that's why he's not here. That's right. Something that uh, maybe something went sideways. No problems found. You know what I mean? That's the Luke Cave paid off. Something that I'm particularly. That they found a little gemstone uh, in there. Versed in. Oh no! Thing. Sorry, I'm trying to pull the dog inside. Pain in the ass. <clears throat> so no pun intended. So yeah, I'm uh. I know I know how it goes, and I know uh, I can't wait to hear his uh, his views on how it went. Like I said, hopefully it went good, and we can all you know laugh about it. Because let me tell you, uh, I'm agree agree with him that the prep is definitely the absolute worst of it, and and I still cannot drink Gatorade. <laughs> Like like I could before because I I uh, I mixed it in with Gatorade, so uh, so yeah, it's kind of kind of like traumatizing for me now. Whenever I I smell or taste Gatorade, it's not fun. But uh, but yeah, I hope hope everything's good. Uh, hope hope you guys have a good show. I'll hang up now. I I forgot what the last voicemail was about. Uh, so yeah, I, I, oh, it. it was like a it was collecting stuff. Or hobbies or something. I don't know. Uh, I hope I hope Mike is uh, picking up the the Destiny Destiny Two vinyl. And and yeah. So so uh, peace out. Have a good show. All right. Thank you, Los. I totally forgot. Maybe that's why Eric's not here. Maybe something happened. Maybe he's the new cave paid off. Maybe he's feeling feeling like it was too much, and he's still like under the sheets. Like yeah. I've been. I've been poked and prodded in a way that I didn't ask for, so now I'm sitting here. Well, maybe he's trying to reevaluate himself. Maybe he thought that felt good or something. Maybe he's got leakage. Maybe he just needs to be clear. He's got to need need to be. He can't dedicate himself to an hour and forty five minutes of podcast. He's got to be close to the toilet. I mean, they make adult diapers for that type of thing. I mean, you know. But I can understand not wanting to sit in your own poo, also. So. Uh, Shonoff has given me the the more important details than Pooh. He's saying C1 has better motion, color, and dedicated gaming functionality. CX has better color contrast and a lower price. There you go. See, Mike, you're not getting the best of the best. See what you did? See? 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 Now you got to get to C1. <laughs> see? Thanks. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> well, this is a good... um. It's, it's good, time to start paying for the podcast. This is a, this is a good segue, Matt. Seven? Have we? I can't remember if we have delved into the seventy dollar video game discussion or not. As I've been listening we, to other shows, we dabbled this week. into it. Yeah, we dabbled into it way back. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about what we've been playing in just a few minutes, and Returnal is one of them. And that was a seventy dollar game this week. Okay. Um, in my quick. Crack research. Gaming prices traditionally fifty nine ninety nine AAA has been that price since about two thousand five. Okay, so we're going on what, but sixteen years here. Yeah. Okay. Um, everything else in life has gone up in price. Pretty much over that time, right? I mean, Christ, you wanna you wanna build a deck right now. The cost of lumber, you know, the fertilizer. Now, those could all be temporary prices. Could go back to normal at some point. But you know what I'm trying to say. Everything in over 16 years is inflation. Everything goes up. Yeah. Um, the interesting thing about that is that people don't want to pay. I mean, I'm not an advocate for paying more just for the sake of fucking paying more. I, like to, I want to save money, too. Um, sure. But people, for some reason, are fixated on this fifty nine ninety nine. Like it can never, it can never cross that threshold. Anything above that threshold is exorbitant, is highway robbery, is unacceptable. 
But what I always found humorous is like, okay, you craft beer people by eighteen ninety nine for four, you know, can be anywhere from like what, twelve ninety nine to eighteen ninety nine for like a four pack of some sort of, you know, craft beer, right? And you drink that, what, how long does it take to drink one of those? Some people can drink it in ten minutes, some people can milk it to an hour. Say, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um <clears throat> You know, what's the price of a movie? I know you don't go to the movies. What's the cost of going to a movie right now? If I had to guess around here, I would say it's somewhere between 14 and $16. Holy shit. You know, I was going to say around 10, 10, 12 bucks, but wow. All right, well, let's say, but, but, let's, but, let's say $12, okay? Mm-hmm. And average movies are what, $2? I mean, uh, two hours? Yeah. So you're paying $6 an hour, right? Simple, simple <laughs> yeah. math. If you extrapolate that out for a uh, $60 video game, 60 hours of entertainment, right? So if you said you had 60, I said a video game was 60 hours, and we're saying the movie is $6 an hour entertainment. So it's three. So really, the game should cost you 360 bucks, and you're getting it for 60. Hell of a deal, right? Seems like a bargain to me. Right. Um, but if you just take it, if you take the movie part out of it and say, all right, I have a <clears throat> $70 video game, and I think Returnal could be anywhere between 30 and 40 hours depending on your skill level. Don't hold me to that. I, don't, I haven't studied the internet reviews to see if it can be completed. And sure, but let's just say for the sake of argument, it's 30 hours. <clears throat> so if you did 70 divided into 30, was that like? 2.33 or something something along yep. those lines. So you're paying yep. $2.33 an hour of entertainment. Still seems like a hell of a deal. But when you when people don't think of it that way, though, they just said, no, there's no way I'm spending $70 on a video game. I've been paying $59.99. Why, is, why, does, it go to, why does it have to go up? Now, <clears throat> I'm not a proponent of prices just going up for the sake of going up. If I could be convinced or sort of you know, someone can explain to you, well, the, well, that's going to help the, you know, the, the devs, the people making the games are getting some of that, you know, the prices go up, so they share the revenue. But we know that's not the case, right? The prices are going up, but who's getting richer on it? The suits. Don't you think so? Sure. This, well, I mean, there's yeah. got to be some, there's got to be some publishers and devs that are doing, that are doing right by their employees, without a doubt. But there's also, for everyone that does right, it's probably doing wrong and it's just rich people getting richer yeah so so i'm sort of perplexed like what side of the argument i should fall on here well i i think i think game prices definitely need to, be, need to go up I, um just because we you know we're paying 60 dollars for a game now doesn't mean it's like everything else price goes up you know, movie tickets when i first started getting movies it was four bucks to get into a movie you know now it's Three times that. Yeah, and all the prices of food and everything. It's easily a hundred dollar bill. Every, if you yeah. if I took my whole family of five, if we all went, that's easily somewhere between a hundred and hundred and twenty five dollar night out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, go to a ballpark to a Reds game. Adds oh. up very quickly. Never I mean Red we talked about it last week, you go to a Red Sox game. If I took like you know, my wife, my oldest and me, just say the three of us, the other two kids didn't want to go. We're still probably looking, you know, somewhere between two hundred, three hundred dollars, between the cost of tickets, the food. Someone oh, yeah. wants a souvenir or a merchandise or whatever. Well, then, you're, then you're talking more. Yeah. And you can't put your arm around a memory mat. No, you, know, you can't. You, once you put that, once you've spent that money and the game is over and you've eaten the food, you've drank the beer. But you could spend seventy dollars in the game and you can play it over and over again if you like. Yep. But I can't. I, ju- I, I, but I can't justify spending seventy dollars on a game, though, right? I think it's. I think it's a shitty argument. I, I think it. You know, I, I think you got to. You got to pay the price. I mean, it's long overdue. Okay. Cost uh-huh. of development goes up, and like you said, you know, yeah, there's, there's probably some suits getting a lot more money than the developers. People are actually doing stuff, but the production of these games is. At or not more than movie production, right? I mean, as far as no, the some, background into it and, and what's going on in some of these games and stuff, it it the, uh, a lot of these games deserve that seventy dollar price tag. How much does that steak joint cost you to go to? 
That's four hundred dollars. That's four or five hundred dollars, right and there. That's, and, and that's over with what? You know, you got to beat traffic, so that's probably over in two hours, two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my memory that's the next morning when I'm on the shitter. I think, oh yeah, that was a good steak. <laughs> that was a four hundred dollars steak coming out. <laughs> so I think the part that makes it more glaring is when you have your competitor offering the game pass and then you know the other the other side of the aisles charging seventy dollars for games I mean they're not the only ones though you know the call of duties um were seventy I even think if you bought the if you didn't have game pass and you bought m l b the show on Xbox, I think that was seventy bucks. There's definitely seventy dollar games yeah. on Xbox. It's just the, yeah. the the glaring thing is, okay, Returnal came out. It's a first party game. It's seventy dollars. If Returnal was a first party game on Xbox, it'd be free with Game Pass. Come with your subscription. Well, I'm yeah, I'm I'm sure I have a glaring thing. I mean, it's that's the benefit of having Game Pass, right? Yeah, paying that 50, 15 bucks a month. So. I'm, I'm sure I'm there's sure. people listening that would say, no, I'll never pay $70 for a video game. And that's fine. It's your own money. I just think at, at the same time, I want you to be consistent in your life. Are you also the same person that wouldn't blink an eye to spend two or $300 to take your family to a sporting event? Or you say, there's no way. There's no way I'm paying $70 for a video game. There's no way I'm taking my family anywhere. I'm staying in my house, and every, <laughs> I'm keeping all my money. I'm not spending anything. Everything is outrageous. I can't justify that's, anything. That's ridiculous. You know, I mean, and chat here, it's talking about $1,500, $2,500 fucking TVs. But are these same people bitching about $70 for a game? You know, I mean, it, 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 that, that's the thing, you know. Mm. I don't kind of pay $10 more for a game, but I'll pay this for a monitor or for a TV or for something else. Yeah. Well, it's good to yep. hear. You know, I think if we re- if we had the the way back machine here, and right, and we went to the forty cast, the uh, Quicken days. Is that mm-hmm. what you had, Quicken? Quicken. Yeah, mm-hmm. you might have balked at seventy dollars for a game, or you think not? Probably not. I mean, I mean, back in the day, back in the day, Sega you, Genesis, the ten games were sixty nine ninety nine. They were seventy dollar games back in the fucking day. Back in the day, this man over here was buying. Uncharted three fucking cardboard collector's editions. <laughs> was that oh, three? Or, was that three or four? That was Uncharted three. Three, yeah, that's what I thought. Uncharted three, that piece of shit, piece of cardboard box. Shonoff says I'd rather pay seventy dollars for games I want than fifteen dollars a month for a bunch of games I either don't want or already played elsewhere. It's a lot that's to fair. be said for that. It's like a gym membership, right? You pay that fifteen dollars. You know, they're hoping you forget about it, and they just keep cha-ching, cha-ching. They just keep rolling that over every month. Right? I'm guilty of that. Yeah. I'm guilty of that. I, I, I got mean, it how, for... How much did Sea of Thieves cost us? <laughs> uh, how many months have <laughs> been subscribed to Game Pass? <laughs> right. I mean, it just seems like of late we've been using it more with um, MLB The Show and Outriders. Well, um, MLB The Show, Outriders, Destiny, um, all the indie games. Um, but the, the, um, what was the one you said before that? What? Um, there was one game out, not before Outriders, there was one game you mentioned. MLB The Show, Outriders, um. Oh, Destiny, but you, Destiny, Destiny wasn't, yeah, give, they were just giving you the base game, right? You, if you want to buy any, or it's the expansions included with Game no, Pass. No, Beyond, no, Beyond Light was on. The latest expansion pack is on Game Pass. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You that's right. You decided not to get the refund because it was you got credit for the season pass. Right, because I got to see it. Yeah. 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 But no, I mean I, Los is a I think chat it's great here. value. Hey Los, we played your voicemails, both of them. Uh Los says yes, I had the Uncharted Three cardboard thing. Boo. He says yeah, God of War so. on PS three was another yeah. horrible one. Um. Yeah, it's it's just you know it's a it's a great podcast topic because you could probably have a whole show on the economics of it. I saw this guy on Twitter today. He is the um like the head honcho. I think the name of his company is called No More Robots, and they put out a bunch of games. They put out that Descenders game, 
you know, that downhill yeah, the racing. Downhill. Yeah. And he was complaining about paying seventy dollars for a game. He said there was no now this is a guy that puts out video games. He said there was no way in hell that he would spend seventy dollars for a video game. No, I mean, and this is a guy who's got a stake in this, and he said there was no way he would pay. He says, I just remembered spending 50 quid on, you know, Odyssey when it came out or the, the latest Assassin's Creed game came out for the Xbox Series X. Valhalla? Was, yeah, Valhalla. He said it was $50 he paid for that. Well, that must have been a sale, right? But he said, yeah, there's no way. He's, he says he wants to play Returnal, but there's no way he'd pay 70 bucks for it. Well, he's a dumbass. I'm sorry. I mean, he's. I mean, I don't care if he's. I don't care. He's. I know he's more important than me and does shit. But he's a dumbass. I'm sorry. That's just stupid to say something like that. Does he not buy milk or bread when it goes up in price? I don't know. We should get him on the show. Get him on the show. <clears throat> I'm. I, I, I just. Trying to find the uh, tweet here, what he said, so we can get some context, so the so the man can defend himself while he's not here. Yeah, Cause he, yeah that's cause, please. Because right now, I'm sure got, he's listening. Right now, he's got a sore back because Matt just called him a uh, dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Call it like it is, man. Just like scorekeeping. So he says, I want to I, I, I play Returnal so badly, but Christ Almighty, I cannot justify paying seventy quid for a video game doesn't help that I tend to think in dollars these days, and 70 quid is nearly $100. So quid is, I guess, an old-timey term for pounds or whatever in England. I don't, so seven, I don't, what, 70 whatever. quid, I guess, is nearly $100. How can any studio ask $100 for a video game and keep a straight face? But we're not paying $100. We're paying 70 <laughs> Um One of the elements that even makes it harder to swallow is that it was only months ago that I that uh, fifty dollars was the norm, or fifty quid was the norm. I bought Assassin's Creed Valhalla in November for my Series X for fifty quid at launch. Fifty quid represents a forty percent price hike over that. And and you know everybody who's who's following up here is you know agreeing with them. They're... So everybody you know. In other parts of the world too, you know, we don't, you know, here sometimes in the U.S. we think of it it's just us and nowhere else exists. So it's sixty nine ninety nine here, but the game, you know, how much the game is in Australia, one hundred and twenty five ninety one hundred and twenty four ninety nine. Uh, <laughs> but you're, well, I mean, hey, you know, that's, it's, you know, when you think of it like that, you know, like the price, so whatever. But was I guess the question is was it one hundred and fourteen ninety nine before that? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Is it just I mean, a, well, is it a ten dollar hike? Is it a ten dollar hike across the board for everybody? Yeah, I mean, I mean, but imagine if you had to pay on Matt. Would you pay one hundred twenty five ninety nine for a game? <laughs> yeah, but you're in Australia, okay? Mm -hmm. Where shit's probably more expensive anyway. You know, it's like being in New York. Shit's more expensive, okay? Or like being in yep. Hawaii, like Hawaii, and, everything costs yes. more there because they got to ship. You right. know. Yeah. So that's your fault for living there, okay? For one thing, <laughs> that's what I was waiting. I was waiting. I was you waiting. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's is, just is Bibs in is Bibs in the uh, is Bibs in chat? I'm curious Bibson how chat. much game. I'm curious how Canadian much the prices. Canadian prices for re return. But I, mean, but I mean, but we don't understand because I mean, there, there's that. Dollar exchange rate, right? You right. know, so it's seventy dollars here, it's one hundred thirty dollars there. But there's that exchange rate where it's fuck. I remember it, the time it, when I I toured England and the pound was worth more than the dollar, and that was like and nowhere else I went on that tour where it's like my money was always like good, like I was getting you know better return. Fucking yeah. boom, we went right to England and everything was way more expensive. I was like fuck, this sucks. <laughs> Get me out of England. <laughs> But I guess things have changed. The dollar is dollars more. Is that still true? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think it, everything's based off the dollar. Someone look it up. What's the conversion rate right now? Pound to dollar, dollar to pound. Who's got who's got the who's got the upper hand? While Matt's looking that up, <clears throat> we'll segue over to uh, what we've been playing. 
So we'll put the $70 argument to rest. I'm sure others listening want to weigh in, give us some feedback. Let us know on Discord, Twitter. Shit goes up in price. Pay for it. I don't want to, though. I want, I'm want. i wondering. I'm getting all this work done uh, upstairs in the in-law kitchen, and it's supposed to kick off here in a few weeks. I wonder if my estimate's going to be revised because of all the wood. Probably. Okay. Probably. I, I know people getting houses built. Their, their prices for the houses are going up twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 because of lumber prices. You think that's ever? You think that's going to be the norm, or you think it's going to come back down? I think it'll come back down eventually. I think it'll drop, but I don't think it's going to come back down. I think it's going to be for a while. It's going to be expensive. The housing market right now is insane, absolutely insane right now. If we didn't have Christopher in school, we'd sell like that because housing prices around here are ridiculous. And we're going to live. Some- I'll, I'll find something. Really? Oh, fucking RV, dude. RV living. At 45, uh, you want to already go to the RV? Sure. 47. But sure. I only got about 15 years left. 12, 15 years left before I'm done. With uh, work. With work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, not done. You know, like dead done. But yeah, <laughs> done with well, work. I mean, you, you keep telling us all these stories. <laughs> wow. Um, no, I. Housing market around here is insane. I would sell in an instant if we could. I would absolutely sell in an instant. I would. Uh, oh my god! Really? At this age, you really are. You're already looking to downsize at 47. Hell yeah! The way shit, yeah, dude. Get rid of all this shit. Not have to deal with yard work and all that bull crap. Fuck yeah! Is this you or is this Barb too? Because I think Barb this likes the patio and everything. This is me. <laughs> this is me. Yeah, Barb likes Barb has a different hey, strategy. Matt, ta- Matt, take care of that, will you? What's that? Get rid of that. Yeah. Thank I you, did sir. some moderating. I did some moderating. <laughs> Look at that. Uh let's see, Lotz says uh the extra room we room we were trying to build, they told us wood is crazy expensive and will boost the price, so we're just separating the space with IKEA shelves. There you go. Condo time. No, I don't want a condo. Fucking nope. the, con- the condo fees and everything like that. Condo fees and get deal with fucking condo, old condo neighbors. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Dealing. Nope. All the, the politics of like, hey, uh, like nominating people to be run the condo association and trusting that they're doing the right thing. Hell no. no. Uh, let's get into what we've been playing, Matt. Are you doing anything this week besides not hold baseball? I know you had many, many nights of not hold baseball. Yeah. Oh God. So much. So much. Goddamn. Not whole baseball. That's a whole other story. That's a whole other podcast. Um. Uh. MLB the show. Been doing a lot of that with my road to the show characters. Um. Plus my franchise and that going on there. Great game. Lots having lots of fun with it. I'm just it's just good relaxing fun game for me to play. I love it. I'm glad it's on Xbox. Comfort food. Comfort food. Yep. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah. And uh, dabbled in a little more Borderlands. Um, what else did we match around with the other night? Getting back to the baseball, have they done any major updates yet or just hot fixes or just <laughs> server side stuff? So, some hot fixes came out, but there's a major update supposed to be coming out, I think, pretty soon as far as um, fixing some things with the road to show. Um, making a Diamond Dynasty less of a thing for Road to the Show, that type of stuff. I think that's coming out soon, but they've done some hot fixes in the background. Roster updates, they're always doing roster updates. So, they've been, they uh, which I think this is new, I don't know if they've done this before, but um, when I logged on today, there's a roster update, but also they said they, they're uh, live adjusting players' attributes in real time. So, you know, it used to be at the beginning of the season, just for example, you know, Mike Trout, you know, it's a 99 rated player. Well, throughout the season, he's always rated 99. But now, if he goes into a slump or something goes on, then that rating actually goes down. So he might be instead of 99, might be a 96 or 95. 
No, that only you, that affects every game mode, or just like online game modes. Like if you were playing like, like if I think if I'm playing an ex, if I play exhibition, is that just like? I feel like there's a difference between exhibition and exhibition live. Is exhibition just like what it was when you got the game? And then exhibition live might be like you said, ninety nine might go down to ninety six if he's in a slump. Yeah. So if you notice, sometimes when you start a mode, start a game, it says you know rosters, current rosters, uh, live rosters, or I think there's no, or load rosters or something like that. So I think if you use current roster, it just takes whatever's current on your system. If you use live, that takes those adjusted numbers. And uses those. I wonder so. how often they update that shit. Like a guy goes, like a guy who's like a sixty-five rating and goes on like a hot streak for a week and a half. Wonder, is it like yeah. a weekly, weekly thing, daily thing? I don't know. I, I don't know. This is the first time I saw it today with the roster update, and I'm saying that. I feel like the exhibition live is actually live. Like it's pulling the lineups from that day. Yeah, yeah. If you're doing that, yes, yeah, actually, it's actually the day's games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the lineups and everything. Sure, yeah. That's so I would say that's that. I would say that's live there. Uh, We're doing it live, live. God damn it! Fuck it, we'll do it live. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm, I've been having a lot of fun with it. We we did some home run derby again this past week. Yeah, you gave me was, the you gave me the secret ingredient. I didn't win, but you only beat me by uh, one home run each time we played. You gave me the yeah. secret ingredient that I should not be. Who knew that in home run derby? You should not be using your power swing to swing for the fences. You should be using the A button instead of the X button. That's correct. Who knew that? Yep. Here I was I exerting myself for no reason, and yeah. they were just flying out of the ballpark with A instead of X. Mike was wearing out his X button for no reason. Probably hitting it harder, too, to think because you hit it harder, you probably thought they would yeah. make a difference, too. I was like, Jay, hitting that controller. Jamming, click, click, jamming, click. jamming that button. Uh, the, the power swing is uh, something. It, it it does give it more power, but there's more chance for it to foul or um, yeah. pop out or strike they, out. Yeah, that's what I always say. Like you know, the batter when he just you know he's loosen the loosen his stance and he's just making good solid contact. You know, more often than not, we'll get a nice home run or base hit. But if you're just like Pete Incavelia and everything is fucking, you know, swinging from the, you know, from the downs, more often than not, you're going to swing and miss. Yeah. The, the only time I use the power button is if um, when I'm batting and there's a couple people on base and I've got like a 3-1 uh, count, something right. like that. Hitter's count. And then, then you use the power button because then it pays off because the game knows type of thing. It knows. All right. It knows, Matt. <laughs> It knows. It knows. It knows. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, what was going on with Borderlands? Uh, just going through, uh, doing some boss farming with that, and going through that latest DLC, uh, Craig's Mind. Oh yeah, which yeah. Is really. That's take some take that's, some gummies and do that. Oh my god, dude! That's a messed up DLC, man. It's wild. They make gummies legal in Ohio yet? If you have a medical reason. Talk to your doctor yes. next time you're there. Well, if it can do something for my heart blood pressure, then sure. Yeah, calm you down, right? Uh, so you know what? If, you, if you've had a, if you've had a if you had an edible or two, and then Bob came down and said, "Oh, by the way, Christopher and I are going to Disney. Here's the bill. We want first class flights. We want to stay right in the park. We want you know all the passes, skip ahead passes, and everything like that. You know, you look, you're giving me this look like, yes, that's what you just paid for, and you had the edible." <laughs> it might have been, it might have been more, you know, palatable when it was presented to you that way. Probably. Probably. I, I need, I need some edibles before I go to the fucking knot hole games. But yes, yes. After the story you just explained about the click, like, what do you give? Like, after a full day's work, if the other person said they're thirty three and I'm forty five, be like, fuck, that sounds good to me, you know. But unfortunately, I don't have a rewind button on my clicker, or do they? I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 there isn't. No, there isn't. That's, 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 I'm like, I just, this doesn't lie. <laughs> you know, the man throws a pitch, I click the button. They were thinking maybe you had like, you know, some sort of um, 
you know, I don't know, medical condition over there. You, 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 you're tappy, like you're playing a video game. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Is it one of those metal ones, like at, like you're at a concert? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, clicker. Yeah, yes. It's got one side says home, flip it over, and it says away. Get the home team away. And you click, click, click. Yeah. The and umpires when, should have one, too. The umpires have the ball and strike counter. They don't have a pitch counter. All right. They don't do pitch count. They just do the balls and strikes. Which was another thing. <laughs> because <laughs> Why we're on that topic. He, he kept asking me what the count was. You know, because you know, I got to keep counting. I was like, it's 2-1. Okay. What do you got for count? 3-2. He asked me again. I said, you know what? I said, you and that umpire out there should be communicating that back and forth. You shouldn't be asking me what the count is. You and him are supposed to be back and forth on the count. Okay? Because I could just say anything. Edibles, edibles, edibles. Because <laughs> I could just say anything. I could say, that, well, that's supposed to be strike three. What are you going to do then? You know? I said, you and him need to be communicating that. Not to me. Christopher hearing all this? He's on first base. No. <laughs> All right. Well, anything else besides Borderlands Three and uh, MLB? Nah, that's that's no, nah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing some, you know, anticipation of Returnal. I've been playing some Super Stardust HD, which of course was a Housemark inspired game. I think they maybe made the first one, and someone else did the the one on. Um, that was on the PS4. So I'm playing the PS4 version on the PS5. That's just, you know, good comfort food. I always preferred the version that was on the Vita more than that version that was on the PS4. But, you know, making progress. I didn't carry my save over from before. I just started fresh and, uh, you know, just breaking up the planets, trying to go through them as many as I can, arcade mode. They even released a VR update for that game. I don't know if that have to... You have good. to ask Eric. Maybe if Shonuff's still in chat, maybe he's Eric played and Jeremy, the, the, See if Jeremy's done it. Yeah, they have a VR mode for a Super Stardust. So it's kind of on my lunch break, you know. After I've had lunch, and you know the kids are all in school now, except for my middle one, so I don't have so many uh, lunchtime responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't been nice enough weather yet for me to get in my egg chair on the porch. We haven't put the my I haven't got my porch time in yet, but. Uh, so I've just been coming back down here and playing a little little uh, Stardust on lunch. And uh, Outriders, finish that. Yeah. Decent ending. You know, de yeah. decent, a decent story. And typical fucking bullshit. The audio was all out of sync at the end. <laughs> you know, Jay mentioned he had some audio issues at the end too. But it was like, you know, I was watching like a kung fu flick. You know what I mean? They were just like... The words, you know, it was just all out of sync, and I didn't have oh. the su I didn't have the subtitles on because I don't do subtitles generally, so yeah. it was just disappointing to put all that work into it and the payoff, and then everything was out of sync. Now that but, game had a big update come out this past week, right? It did on Reddit. I see a lot of people on PC are very unhappy with it. They say the game is broken on PC now. I'm not experiencing that on the console. Um, what I am experiencing is I'm trying to do these goddamn expeditions, and so far I've only been able to do ten, uh, excuse me, two out of ten attempts. I was looking at someone on Reddit the other day. They said they've done 180 plus expeditions, and blah blah blah. He was giving all this these stats, and he says every time I play with a casual player, they don't understand, you know, how to do gear sets and all this thing. And I guess that's me, Matt. Well, this whole background behind me and all these headsets and consoles i'm not a casual um enthusiast of video games but apparently i am a casual player of the game because i just can't beat these expeditions on solo the gear i have i get right to the end you know what i mean there's kind of like five stages to expeditions they're essentially um they're essentially horde mode type deals right so you go through waves of enemies, sometimes they're creatures, sometimes they're humans, and then you generally at the end there's a boss battle. So I work my way up all the way to the boss battle, and you know, you got the main boss guy freezes you. 
and then all the lower level bosses that are there too shoot you with like fire or electricity. So just picture being frozen and someone shoots you with electricity and then boom, you're dead. And oh. there's no there's no like uh, checkpoints or anything. You die. Oh. You got to start it all the way back at the very beginning. Oh, that doesn't sound like fun at all. No. So I've only been able to do two so far. So I was on Reddit and I was looking at Devastator builds and someone said, yeah, this is like a tank build here for just for end game. And I did it and I fucking couldn't even get past the second wave. And I was getting to the fifth wave with my regular build. And unfortunately, Outriders does not have a multiple builds yet. So once you respec your character, you've lost your previous spec. That's it. That's it. So now I am very um, weak. So I need to go back and try to re- either look up a different build or try to remember what I had before. Oh no. Uh, so yeah, my time with my time with this game could be over if I can't get back to how I was before. We'll see. Uh oh. And let's see. Maniac says, "And only three chances to revive, and you fail that mission." Well. I didn't find a revive. I, you have three chances to start again. Like the revive doesn't take you back where you died. You get three chances to revive and start you over again. And then yes, if you don't, then you will fail. And hopefully, Jay says no. It'll revive and put you back where you. I, the, anytime I used like the continue, it brought me at the very beginning of the expedition. Other than that, uh, Returnal, Matt. I yeah, let's have, hear about I, this. I only have an hour into it. I just I was so tired. Okay. I didn't. I worked till seven fifteen on Friday night. I did all weekend of yard work. I was too tired last night. I wanted to start this game with like you know somewhat fresh. So I took a shower after doing some yard work today, and I had dinner, and then I came down and played the first hour or so. Um, it's a beautiful looking game. It's got some yeah. very in- interesting. Um, like environmental stuff going on like you know you're in this like this planet and let's just say there's like these vines that you walk by and the very first time you walk by them they don't you don't know that these vines can grab you and like suck you up and so you, you know I got the 3D audio on I got the the dual sense and you just immediately something about the way they present the audio and in the feeling on the controller like you immediately like feel yourself like bucking away from the direction of that it's coming at you it's you know it felt very intuitive and and natural like you could feel like you know coming across you like you know right to left some some really nice touches there with the you know the audio i got the pulse headset um but i'm early on you know the rain feels really cool you can feel it in the controller you know and you hear it um so the, the haptics a lot of guns you can just go halfway down for just like your regular shooting and you hold it all the way down for a special type shot to okay. neat, neat little touch there. But I have no idea what really what I'm doing except, you know, dying a lot. And, you know, that's the whole nature of the game is, you know, and I, what I, was kind of cool is you find yourself along the way. So like, let's say you're going out on an expedition or whatever, the, the next run. And the, every time it's different, it's not the same. The world doesn't look the same each time. And so every once in a while, you'll find yourself dead on the ground and you got some sort of audio log that says, hey, next time you find me, this is what's going on here. Like they leave you like little little messages from the past. So so when you die, you start over, right? I mean, you start the game over, but not the same spot. Well, you always start at your ship, but once you leave your ship and you go through the first gate, everything is different. Okay. All right, so it changes every time, but you still got go, but you're still starting at the beginning in a sense. Yeah. But your shit though carries over. Some of it, not all of it. Some things will carry over, like the gun. Like so, you always start with your sidearm, and there's other guns that you can find, but you're not going to always have that gun. You always have your sidearm, but you, then you go out and you explore, and then you find another gun. What about skills or something? I mean, do you like get seems, skills that you learn that you, carries over from, or I mean, do you? Start from I'm only about an too? hour. I'm only about an hour in, but there was something I can't remember what it is now because it's not in front of me. There was 
there was something I unlocked to like either my health or skill or something that said this is a permanent unlock and this is now attributed to your character going forward. And I don't think those, like the audio logs you find, you you always keep those and you can go back and listen to them. Um, but not everything. Only the permanent things that you find, permanent unlocks, stay with you. Otherwise, everything else is just specific to that one run you're on. Okay. It looks like a interesting fun game for sure it's almost got like a dark souls feel to it for sure and you know this is a game you know i'll be frank i bought it because i think it's a work of art like i'm a big fan of bloodborne mm -hmm. but i suck at bloodborne you know <laughs> what i mean i can't i can't get by that first area half the time but i just think it's a work of art it's an unbelievable game I feel the same way with this. Like I, I had no problem dropping the money on it because I want to experience it, and I'll get, I'll play it as much to the best of my abilities. But I, if I'm honest with you, I think at some point it's just going to get too difficult, and I'm going to have to say peace out. But I wanted to experience what there's. This is supposed to be the best PS5 game for the 3D audio and the haptic feedback, and I just wanted to experience that. And I've also been a big fan of Housemark games in the past even though they've been more arcade games like Resogun and uh, Nex Machina and Alien Nation and Dead Nation, Super Stardust. So when, so when you say the game gets hard, as you progress in your one life, it gets harder, obviously, I suppose, right? But when you die, is there, does it get harder then too when you die and start over, or is it a progression? again in that life yeah i don't I, I i don't think just because you die it gets harder i think it goes hard it gets harder as you progress more in that run as you, i guess yeah. uh, i've only encountered one big boss so far and i think everybody is supposed to die there because i think that's how they it's like almost like a tutorial they drop you into this pit and there's this big huge boss there and then you die, and it's the first time you go back to your ship, and they show you like the inner workings of your ship. So I don't think you can actually beat that boss. No, um, no, I no spoilers there, but yes, that that because I uh, Goth, he he's loving the game, he's playing it right now. Same thing happened to him, where he got killed in that first boss, and that, and, and the, you know, the Returnal came up on the right. screen. Yeah. He's like, okay, well, I don't think we're supposed to beat that person. How's he doing? Is he making good progress with it? Yeah, he's loving it. He's liking it. He he, he thinks it's a, again, he thinks it's a beautiful game. Thinks it's a work of art. Uh, loving it. Yeah, he's It's he's almost enjoying. like a um, bullet hell, third person bullet hell game. Like the way these enemies, like they shoot at you is kind of like one of those like, you know, shmup bullet hell type games. You know, like they, it goes off like, you know, the horizon, you know, the, the all the bullets and you either got to jump on jump over them or try to fit in between the bullets. All right. Um, yeah, I just, I haven't progressed far enough to give an, an impression beyond that. But right now, ease of play, you know, the controls, everything like that feel great. The ambiance, the look, the aesthetics, top notch, the audio. Um, you know, like I said, I immediately heard something in my ears and I, you know, just like if you were out in the woods, right, and you heard something to your right and you'd kind of move over to your left real quick. You know, it's like one of those type, type of deals. I see. That's next-gen shit. Yeah. That's next-gen shit right there. That is cool. Yeah. So, you know, I'll give it my best try, but we are bad fodder figures, first to be last. So my mileage would probably vary on this to a certain extent, but I'm digging it. You know, I don't. I really don't know where I'm supposed to go. That's the only, like, thing that's, like, kind of throwing me off. There's like There is, like, a little, like, red dot type thing that sort of guides you through, but I don't know, there's all these different doors and keys that you can get. We'll have more next week. Eric will be back next week. He'll be talking about yeah. it too. Yeah, he hopefully, played it. Hopefully Eric will be here talking about Resident Evil, uh, the village demo as well. I did not get a chance to play that. <clears throat> Jeez, it's already an hour and a half, man. We haven't even done the news. Thank Shit, God. dude. Thank God there's not that many news stories. Let me take a break and get a drink, and then we will uh, fire up the news here, okay? Really? Really? Okay, do you hear what he just said? Do you hear what he... 
He just said, why don't you, for once in your life, just do the fucking news. All right, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do, no, I'm gonna do the fucking news. No, here is the fucking news. All right, for those in chat and Matt, there are a bunch of games coming out in May. Let's see what everybody's interest level is at. Uh, Resident Evil 8 Village coming out on the 7th in just, what, five days? Hood Outlaws and Legends on the 10th. Mass Effect Legendary Edition on the 14th. Subnautica Below Zero on the 14th. And Days Gone on PC on the 18th. Metopia on the 21st. Biomutant on the 25th. And SMT3 Nocturne HD on the 25th. I'm not sure what that is. Any of those, Matt, pique your interest. Uh, Resident Evil. Yeah, Resident Evil 8 Village, yeah. You might you might take a yep. look at that. Yes, I think so. Yep, that and uh, Days Gone. On PC. Mm-hmm. Yep. You might play that on yep. your lappy. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely my yeah. desktop be able to, but what about uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition? Uh, you know what? I did Mass Effect the first time through, all three. Um, I think I'm good there. I don't know yeah. if I want to go through that whole thing again because that was a lot of time spent playing that, and I'm not sure if I want to go through that again or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, show I enjoyed enough, the first time. That was it. Show enough says uh, Resident Evil Eight. Lucky Phantasm mm-hmm. says Mass Effect for him. Mm-hmm. You know, I got to be the one that goes to uh, Bio Mutant, and that's the one I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Um, you know, I played a. We didn't play it, but we saw it at PAX a year or two ago, and there's been some previews and videos along the way this year. Uh, I want to check that out on the 25th. I know um, Retro Rents Al is interested in Hood Outlaws and Legends. I don't know enough about that. I think that's more of a multiplayer, or maybe maybe some PVE in it as well. But I think predominantly that's a PvP game, possibly. Resident Evil. That's another one where I like I like to watch people. You know, their, their works of art, the, all the different ways they can scare you, and the jump scares, and the storytelling, and just the overall gruesome horror of it. Um, but yeah, I would buy that and I'd play it on easy if they had an easy mode. <laughs> just, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just to get through it. Um, I'm sure Eric's going to be all over a bunch of these, but I'm sure Resident Evil for sure. Yeah. Maniac says, I'm with Mike. Biomutant. Yep. I wish Biomutant was coming out with a um, PS5 Xbox Series X version right away, but they're not. That will come later at some point, possibly. Yeah, I got to look that up. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. I got to um, let me pull this up over here on the on the Firefox. Yeah, look this one up here. Switch over. Is this a uh, PlayStation only game? No, no, no. It's coming to. Um, it's coming. I think. PC and uh, PS4 and Xbox Series X. Shonoff says, I was into Biomutant, but I don't like that they're hiding classes behind a premium paywall. Hmm. We'll have to look into that. Game looks interesting. To looks a good. Extent. Looks good. Um, I'm not sure how long, how long of a game it is. It might hit at the right time by the time I get done. Uh, beating my head against the wall with Returnal and Outriders. Might be looking to jump into something. So it's got a little uh, platformer type of... Yeah, I think there's some um, platforming, you know, combat. Um, I think it borrows from a bunch of a bunch of genres. It does. It looks really good. It does, yeah. Interesting. I just hope the characters don't look too small for the environments. That's one thing I'm looking at, like as I'm watching this, like the characters do seem a little small compared to yeah. some of these worlds are very big. Yeah. 
Looks gorgeous there. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, what? Right. Is this me. a uh, single player game? Multiplayer? What? I believe it's a single player experience, yeah. Okay. Wow. When is this the uh, 25th? I might, 25th. Be checking it. I might be checking this out. Yeah. I think it's a neat little game. We'll have to dig into more what uh, Show Nuff said. Yeah. Yeah, I right. yeah. Let's move on here to some other news. Halo Infinite will support cross-play and cross-progression on Xbox and PC. How do you feel about that, Matt? I think the cross-play part. Yeah. So Microsoft announced that Halo Infinite will support cross-play and cross-progression when it launches later this year. This will allow PC and Xbox players to match together and play the Halo Infinite campaign, and the support also extends to multiplayer. Any multiplayer customization and progress will sync across both PC and Xbox. Now, you know the multiplayer for Halo Infinite is free. It's, it's free to play. Now... We are Game Pass Ultimate people anyway, so it's going to be included with our subscription. Sure. But for people that are not in Game Pass, you're going to be able to play the multiplayer modes free, and you don't need Xbox Live for that either with their whole uh, taking that sort of paywall down for free-to-play games. Uh, cool. When it launches later this year, it will support up to 120 frames per second in the arena mode on Xbox Series X. Microsoft is also ensuring all the customizations PC players expect are available inside Halo Infinite. This includes support for ultra-wide monitors, triple key binds, advanced graphic options, and other customizations. Yeah. Pumpkin Kings, what's going on, man? Um, Eric says, are we still on? If you want to reply back to him, Matt. Maybe Eric will, will pop on. Looks like he's maybe I'm around. The work here. Um, moving on, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order to get an Xbox Series X PS5 update. Respawn Entertainment um, tweeted out or made a, a post that the next-gen upgrade will be kicking off sometime this summer as confirmed by an official StarWars.com blog post. On exact date hasn't been given at this time. The free PS4 to PS5 and Xbox One to Xbox Series XS upgrade will deliver a number of technical improvements to a new generation of gaming consoles. This cross-generational update will be completely free for those who already own the game. This is an additional upgrade from the one back in January that boosted the frame rates to 60 frames per second and enhanced resolution on all platforms. So I keep I haven't dived into this one, Matt. You I know you're not a big Star Wars guy, but it's included with our Game Pass. Um, have you uh, thought about playing this at all? I need to probably. I probably need to since it's included and it's, you know, yeah. I probably need to check it out. To be right. honest with you. Let's see if we especially get through. The, go ahead. Especially with the update coming out, it's probably you know something I need to look into. Yeah, now I'm trying to weigh the you know the options. Do I play it? And I've been meaning to play it, and now if this you know other thing is coming later this summer, maybe I'll just hold off and play it once they put the update out. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm thinking. <clears throat> um, for you people on the Switch and Xbox that are into Fall Guys, got some bad news. Fall Guys has been delayed on Switch and the Xbox. Uh, developer Mediatonic has delayed the release of Fall Guys for Xbox and Switch, saying it needs more time to incorporate everything it wants to include for launch. But on the positive side, crossplay is on the way. Um, there's no suggestion of when Fall Guys might finally arrive on Xbox and Switch following the delay, although Mediatonic says it's aiming to launch on these platforms as quickly as possible. But the developer has attempted to soften the blow by revealing one of the new features it currently has in development, which is crossplay. Uh, the decision to incorporate crossplay into Fall Guys, enabling players to stumble in harmony with their pals regardless of platform of choice. So it sounds like it's going to be worth the wait. Then everybody will be miserable coming in last place together. <laughs> 
I can't believe Fall Guys is still a thing. It is. It's doing well. Good. Good. And, um, and Matt, if you remember when this, I could still remember when they launched this game. And by the way, it's out today. Apex Legends. Remember that? Remember when they just, no one really knew. There was something going on. A couple of the, like the Dr. Disrespect and Shroud and people like that got flown into LA to play like this like secret game. And they were like doing the reveal and they were like, oh, by the way, and now it's out today. And they're already on uh, season nine. It's coming out May 4th. Wow. Um, the reason I called this out is they're going to have a new character, uh, Valkyrie, which is um, the daughter of Viper, the famed Titan pilot from Titanfall 2. So this character, you know, Titanfall 2 is having a big resurgence right now on PC, I think partly because of this tie-in to um, Apex Legends. So I wanted to call that out. But also they're coming out with a new mode, an arena mode. It's a three-verse-three mode. Players compete against each other on a close quarters map. Uh, each round is decided by eliminating the enemy team, with the final victory decided by winning at least three rounds and gaining a margin of victory of at least two rounds. Sudden Death decides the final winner on the ninth round when both teams are deadlocked at four wins each. That means that each game has a minimum of three rounds and a maximum of nine. Uh, maps in the arena mode are small, but like Battle Royale, the ring closes at regular intervals and constricts the battlefield. Supply boxes are scattered around the map, containing recovery items and supplies. Combat takes place in a rotation of locales, including the new Party Crusher and Phase Runner maps developed specifically for this mode. We might have to try that out. Three vs. Three. Yeah, it's been a while since we played Apex. And speaking of three verse, speaking of three oh. verse three, we got our we got our third right here. There he is. We're ready to. Uh, must be hey, done. Watering the whole. Hear me. We yeah. hear you loud and clear. Yeah. We were just talking about uh, Apex Legends season nine coming out on the fourth. And they're coming out with this new new mode, th- arena mode, three verse three. And look at that. There's three of us. So who in chat? Is going to take us on. What other three people are going to step up and take on bad no, fodder figures? Ain't, ain't no one's going to take us on, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Come on, son. Pumpkin King says, I lost internet as soon as I joined the stream. W. That's bad fodder figures for you. There you <laughs> that's, go. That's, that's bad well, fodder figures. Sorry, dude. <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> so, yep. Eric, how you, we've been running long, Eric. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. You know, yeah. No, no complaints over here, bro. We was we were speculating, you know, either shit went down to job, or the uh, rummaging the loot cave went sideways, and you got some leakage going on, or there was, <laughs> nah. a, or, or there was a little romance happening. No, no, no. I I, I had some terrible stuff happen, not to me, but we had a officer uh, die, but. Oh, oh shit. sorry to hear that. Yeah, but so you, can't bring that, the, you can't bring the seriousness of the show like that. You know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just telling you what happened. You know, what I'm saying? we're just telling know. that we're we're saying at the top of the show, Eric, that you know, for, we do a terrible job of just we never mention like, hey, welcome to the show. For those new, you know, this we're bad fodder figures, and this is what we do. Yeah, and we just yeah. came to this. We came to this conclusion that we are 90 minutes. Of one big sexual innuendo and a corner and a cornucopia of nonsense. <laughs> well, you know what? That's what uh, makes it all good to me, because uh, life is is jacked up. So you got to have a lot of nonsense. It's you know yeah. that, that's that's what balances it out for me. So it's all, all good. Right. Well, your perfect timing. We just finished all the news, so we just want to hear from you, and then we're going to wrap this up. So everything thumbs up on the um, on the exploring the loot cave. Everything copacetic. I mean, yeah, man, that was an experience. But you know what? You know, <laughs> you know, the worst part, I'm gonna tell you the worst part is the prep. Right. Los voicemail that. just said that. Absolute worst part is the prep. But uh when you get in there, it's lickety split. Boom. When you get in there, it's right. Yeah, when you get in there, it's yeah, it's lickety <laughs> split. When you it's get in there. Because <laughs> cause you're they, not, one minute one minute you're knocked out and the next minute you're awake. Man, they give you the white needle. Boom. And then they rummage around and do what they do. Then they come out, you know, 
You feel a little loose when you use that? I was like, oh man. Yeah, man. man. I felt That's great nice. coming out of there, man. It was good. You got some some graham crackers and ginger ale, and when you're waking up, I, I, I had some ginger ale. As a matter of fact, I did have some ginger ale. I told Absolutely. you that when I've had the uh, the endoscopy, you know, they give you yeah. a ginger ale, and I'm like, "Where's my graham crackers? I know you guys got graham crackers. Don't be holding <laughs> on to me. When the fuck's my graham crackers?" <laughs> but it was it was cool though, man. It was, it was cool. I'm glad I got it done, you know, and uh, everything was good. They say, yeah. "Yeah, there you go." So. Well, we want to hear all about what you've been playing this week. We just talked about uh, Returnal, uh-huh. and um. Well, did you get it? First of all, did you get a chance to um, play uh, Resident Evil? I did. Oh, I, played the, uh, I played the. I played the because there's two parts of the demo. There's the uh, the castle part or whatever it's called. Yeah. And the village and the village part. I played the village part because okay. I had played the the other part before. So I played the village part, and it's uh, graphics are off the hook. That's that's goes without a doubt. And where were you playing um, this on? The uh, PlayStation. PlayStation, okay. Because I, I, I saw that they had it for Stadia too, but I, I didn't even yeah. pick it up for Stadia. But I played on PlayStation, and I went through the whole uh, thing. I think they give you, uh, what is it, 30 minutes or an hour or something like that yeah. to play through it. And I went through it. It, was, uh, it, was, it. it wasn't like scary, but it's a lot going on and I, and I can't wait to figure out the, the, the town is something's going on with the town and the people are, uh, there's only a few people left, but they're, but they're turning into these monsters. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're getting bit. I don't know what the thing is. You know, they just give you a taste and it's, uh, I'm interested. I can't wait. And the guys, Ethan from resident evil seven, his daughter, I guess was taken to this, to that, the village. Right, and he has to go in there and find his his daughter, and it's uh, I'm excited about it. I can't wait. Now this is a real world situation, Eric. And God forbid your daughter was taken to the village. What would be going on here? What, what, what's the first? What is the weapon of choice that you would be looking for in Resident Evil for you to pick up right away? Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do because I'm gonna say it online. If somebody <laughs> took my daughter, I'm gonna go to work, right? <laughs> no, no, you gotta go and to I'm Resident get, Evil Village. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go to work first because I gotta load up. <laughs> All right. Okay. I got it. You, you, you only could take two weapons in in a bulletproof vest. What do you What do you got? You got two weapons. I'm gonna take the M6 and I'm gonna uh-huh. take a shotgun. Okay. All right. That's that's just right off the break. That's what's right going. That. Yep. And we're gonna go. And I'm gonna have all kinds of ammo. And we're gonna get it done, bro. <laughs> get we'll get it done. I mean, why I'm gonna get my anybody, daughter back. Why isn't anybody making the video game? I mean, see. This show should be we fuck Joe Rogan and his podcast. <laughs> exactly. Why isn't, this, why isn't this taking off? They should have me as a character, you know, glove DLC. box going to yeah, <laughs> going to his job. The J O B the J O B D L C. Get the M six and the and the shoddy and going to the village, bro. That's that's yeah. that's just the end of it. You know, I got I get the whole premise of, of this game right now. Yeah. At the beginning of the game. Eric's laying on the table, getting his colonoscopy done. <laughs> okay, and then he wakes up from having a colonoscopy done, and they tell me my daughter's and, gone. And they re- and say, Eric, oh, someone your daughter. Oh, but man. really, so I, but really, so the, the, I get the, up, the, I get the up, here, clean. I, I, but, I wipe my ass, and then I go. Yeah, to the job. but you know how is like, that if, not the game beginning? Have you got this one game? I can't remember. Like you played this game and actually you realized the whole time you were playing inside of a monster's asshole. That's what a, game is that? It was like Borderlands or something. Like the whole time you were like in some sort of like, like whale's body or something like that. So he's going to go into this colonoscopy, but he's going right. to wake up, but he's actually going to be rummaging around in his own asshole. That's where Resident Evil rummaging. Village takes it's, takes place. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> rummaging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it was a cool game, man. I, I can't wait till the full game comes out. I think it comes out when? Next week or something like that? Yeah, we were just talking about May 7th. Yeah, I'm in. I'm this in, week. bro. Yeah, man. Hey, we, we were talking about what we've been playing in uh, Super Stardust. Did you play that in VR yet? Oh, yeah. How was that? Oh, yeah. It's cool. But it's not like groundbreaking. It doesn't look like a... Super Stardust, it's, it's two different ones. There's Super Stardust and there's another one where you play on the planet. That one's in VR. 
Right, so and I've been playing the, Super Stardust HD, the PS4. I've been playing it on my PS5, but the PS4 version. And then when you uh -huh. go into the menu, there's a VR option, like a mode. Yeah, when it goes into VR, it uh, I think it goes down to the planet, and you mm -hmm. can get that perspective. And it's cool. It's a little... Uh, it'll probably Money. make you vomit. Yeah, it'll probably make you vomit, but... Oh, God. It's, uh, it's cool. A lot going on on that game. Just like Returnal. I know y'all already talked That's, about Returnal. So I'm, yes. only an, I'm only an hour in. And what I was telling Matt, you know, like the ambiance, aesthetics, you know, the 3D audio, the dual sense. The raindrops. The raindrops. So, like, how about like when you like that, the first time you encounter like those vines that can like suck you in. Jump you up. You, you got to dash that, and get out of them. You hear that like 3D audio come. And, you yeah. Know, yeah. And that rumble on the controller. Just like you immediately yeah. knew like to like scoot over yeah. to your left that game is uh because you die a lot yeah well, that's the premise yeah and when you come back you're supposed to be you know stronger and all that stuff and uh it's cool so far now how far along you would know? you say you are in it i'm probably about maybe an hour hour and a half something like that in it that's yeah, the same with me i you know i've gotten the other gun you go into like yeah. that, te that temple with like some sort of, i don't know if it's a casket or what it is in the middle and it has all those different yeah people things and statues yeah. or whatever yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. It's a good game. We were having a debate about the um Hey Scoba with the gifts. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Scoba. Uh we were talking about a seventy dollar price tag for games and how this mm -hmm. was a seventy dollar game. I feel it's just, the value of this is seventy dollars worth the whole package and presentation. Feels silky smooth, third mm -hmm. person, the lighting is fantastic. Do you, I I sometimes wonder could it be done on the PS4 though? Well, def, well, visually it probably could have been maybe on the PS4, but not with all the dual sense and the haptics, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And the the 3D audio. Yeah. Scoba, thanks for the gifts. Thanks for showing up. And yeah, we'll have to show up tomorrow morning at nine. But uh, it's definitely uh, worth the uh, seventy bucks, I think. Yes, sir. <laughs> Think so. Yeah, so other than that, man. So you're about an hour and a half in. Um, yeah. Have you have you gotten to any of the bosses yet? Besides the first boss, where they drop you in the pit. You know, we've talked about that. That that was a bit like the tutorial. Everybody dies there, and you get booted back to the ship. You know, right. the, the title screen. Have you got to a boss again after that? I think I have. I think I got to this one big. In the first biome area, you got to that yeah. boss. And yeah. How challenging he... was that? It was very challenging because he shoots all kinds of stuff and then he comes like back. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was challenging. I was we were having a conversation about like what you keep and there's, so there's some there's some permanent unlocks, but you don't keep the gun. Like when you found that gun, the next time you start up, you don't have it again. You just right. have your sidearm. But don't you have? Can't you go back to that spot? Well, you don't know where that spot is because the world keeps changing. Well, I found that box again. I found that box again. I don't know where it was, but uh -huh. I found that box again and I got that gun again. I don't, I don't, it's a gun that I have. It's a shotgun. I don't like that one because uh -huh. the range is not. I like the handgun actually yeah. with the tracer, with the tracer bullets on it. That's, that's, that's a cool, cool weapon. I have some gun now with the, the, that first gun that you can pick up with the ricochet. Yeah. Yeah. I like I'm trying that. to, there's some like places that you go to that has like vines and stuff, and you can't. How do you burn those down so you can get into those? Have you figured that out? I I saw on a on a playthrough that you're going to get this sword. I haven't gotten it yet. Okay, so I think you have out. to. I think you have to come back. You talking when they glow kind of reddish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think you got to get that sword. I think or and, laser, whatever it is. Well, I. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to read you guys' gameplay about some of those vines. You already played it, Matt? Or no, I've I, I, I watched. Yeah, I've watch, been watching a guy play it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say anything. And there's also, but, like, I'm at this yeah. point now where I can look up and I see this, like, orange, like. That's for the uh, grappling hook. Okay, That's I don't have that yet. There's a, right. there's a purple chest up there. Yeah. And not all these chests are good for you. Some of these chests can do shit to you, like they do damage to you, and yeah. and it, and it has that 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 red status on on the screen. You got to do. You got to go back to your, go away. You got to go back to your ship. 
Well, some of them said like collect artifact one of like you know yeah you, you got to find too. the artifact to make it go away. I usually uh you know you can teleport. I teleport back to my ship. I haven't got that rest. far yet where I can teleport yet. You, I teleport back to my ship and and take a nap or whatever. Get get in the bed, <laughs> and then she comes Sounds out. Good right about now. She's yeah. good to go. She's good to go when she comes back out. Cool. Yeah, man, yeah, I'm pumped, man. man. I mean, they, but there was also the uh, state of play this week with um, Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Yo, man, I watched that whole thing, and that's basically what it was all about. Was Ratchet and Clank? It was it wasn't about anything else. Well, yeah, I mean, they showed at the beginning. They showed you the Subnautica Below Zero and Among yeah. Us coming to uh, keep that to PS4 and PS5. But Ratchet and Clank looked dope, didn't it? Oh man, I'm so ready for that. June 11th, you're gonna pre-order to get 70 bucks, get all those skins. I'm, I, I, yeah, I probably will. It's yeah, yeah. Be 70 bucks. It's gonna be 70 bucks regardless, you know. Right. So, yeah, I'm down, man. Rivet. What do you think of the character's name? The chick. Cool. Looks very cool, and you get the controller too, man. Yeah. And I, I don't know what special power she has, but it looked. Uh, Pretty cool. And I don't know how much of the game you get to control it, but that'll be cool if they let you do it like half the game her and then half the game uh Ratchet. Yeah, cool. so what seemed like anytime you went into a rift you played as her or not all the time? I don't think all the time, but it seamless. Cool it's like it's not just like a little place that it drops you into when you go into the rift. That's you, a whole, whole world. A whole new world, like boom. Yeah. It Let's was go. awesome. I'm ready, bro. And uh let me see. So the next game that comes out is Resident Evil, right? Right. So let me tell you the game. So I want you to let me know what you're pumped for May for, right? We got uh, Resident Evil on the seventh. Oh, oh man, there. Hood Outlaws and Legends on the tenth. Mm. Uh, Mass Mass Effect Legendary Edition on the fourteenth. Nah. Subnautica Below Zero on the fourteenth. Nah. Uh, Days Gone on the PC on the eighteenth. Metopia on the 21st. And then uh, we played the trailer for this or the preview for this Bio Mutant on the 25th. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Bio Mutant, right? Yeah. 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 And so that'll close out May. So it's just uh, Resident Evil and uh, Bio, Bio Mutant. Mutant. Yeah. Now, I don't know if Shun Up <laughs> is still in uh, chat. He was playing that new uh, Bullet Hell shmup that came out. I saw it on his. Um, on his Twitter feed, post Friday work, going out picking up his goodies at the store. Was it Which R one? R R not R Eternal because that's Returnal. There was something R R. Yeah, I can't remember what it is now. I just <laughs> looked it up a little bit before um before we podcasted. Fuck. It's but, it's on Steam or uh. No no it's on it's definitely on PS4. Um, Let me see. Should be still around. Is it new? It's new. It just came out um just came out this week. If you're into your bullet hells and shmups, R type. Oh, so, oh yeah, R type. That's an old school game. Yeah, but I'm. Is it a, is it like a a new take on it? Is it like a remaster or a re reimagining, or is it the new a new version of it? I don't know. I'm looking for it on the the screen. I don't see anything. Well, you I don't own it yet. The, you got to buy it. I'm looking so I can buy it. I'm trying to figure out where it's at. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I was just curious. Curious how good would Sean, I used to play our type back in the day? Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if it's good or bad. Here it is. Our type dimensions. No. Our type dimensions. Or no, our type final deluxe. It looks pretty cool. What are they charging for that? He says it's a sequel. They charge fifty nine ninety nine for the. He gives it. A th one. He gives it a thumbs up. It's going on the screen right now. Look at, look at that live look action. Look at all that. I mean, well, you look at that. Is giving you this shit. Eight K. Exactly. Eight K. <laughs> How come we're not making money? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> final two. He says our type. Final two is the game. Yeah. That's all it. right. <clears throat> well, we've been going for two hours, Eric. I know you just jumped in. I mean, that's cool. I'm glad I could jump in. You know. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad you could too, man. Thanks for coming in. Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. Sorry about your coworker there for sure. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, you've just been bringing the bad news of late. A couple weeks I'm, back, I'm, told I'm sorry. A guy you committed suicide, and now you get this coworker. You know, you're on the front Man, lines. It's rough out here, bro. Well, we appreciate you. Appreciate all your service, Eric. Well, I appreciate um, y'all, man, for making me laugh, man. <laughs> well, let's wrap this up, Matt. I know you got to get to bed and you got a hard day's work tomorrow. Um, any shout outs or plugs there, Matthew? Everybody in chat, thanks for showing up tonight. Um, Kevin, Lucky, uh, Pumpkin Kings, and Maniac, and Chase, and everybody who was in there. So thanks, everybody, for showing up for chat. It was and, lots of fun. And don't forget Iron Hill. I in hell. Yeah. <laughs> Scoba with the gift. So, yes, sir. You know, and Eric, I'm glad you showed up for at least five, ten minutes here. That was yeah, awesome. Man. Man. Good. It's always good talking to you. It's even better actually seeing you in person. That's so right. yeah. Eric, so that Eric, is gonna, cool as hell. Eric, you're gonna have to listen to the show tomorrow because Absolutely, Matt, I always Matt, do. Scorekeeper sixty nine had some incidents, let's just say. <laughs> Some episodes at the Not Hole Baseball game that you want to listen. Oh in no, on. I'm going to definitely listen in for that. Yes, he didn't get kicked out, did he? That's all I wanted to. Know. No, no, no. But the accusations were made. Numbers were oh, not man. correct. Oh some, man, some, some oh, bullying. Man. He got he, checking he was, his. They checking his integrity. Oh right. no, Matt, not Matthew. <laughs> he got bullied. Oh no. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be a good time. And because he was the visiting team, they the other team, the home team had the final say, so he couldn't even get his uh. come up. He couldn't even get his come up <laughs> well, Nope. That's all right though. Nope. Scorekeeper 69 going to have the last word. Scorekeeper 69 is going to get them back when it's the home game. Yes sir. Yes, <laughs> exactly. sir. He's going to have the happen, final man. say. Yep. Those bases yep. are going to be a little uh, a little slick. So, it's all up here. It's yep. all up here. I know I know I know my clicker in my brain was not wrong. Put it in the Rolodex. I saw your buddy Brad, Matt, on uh, Twitter sent his wife, I think a school teacher, so that she was bullied this week at work by a male. Oh, and, I didn't uh, see that. Yeah, and he says he's going to get this guy back tenfold at some point. Oh. Yeah. I was well, that's, that's, Brad's wife. a nice guy, so that's, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody bully my wife. I'm stopping by work first. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, we, we already went down. Okay. Oh, we got my work. Stun gun? What's the what's the weapon? Man. Staff? What do you Eric's do going out for breakfast. He's stopping by work a, first. It's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> it's gonna be everything. Stopping by work. A plethora. <laughs> That's right. Holy shit. All right. Well, uh, shout out to all you guys. Thanks for showing up. Everybody in chat. Uh, you know, we have a lot of fun here every week. Some days, you know, yes, you lead do. up to Sunday and you're like, shit, it'll be nice to just kick back and relax. But then you quickly join in on the conversation and you remember why you're here every week. So <clears throat> thanks, you guys, for showing up. Uh, Eric, you have any last words? We'll let you thanks be last. You. Last thanks, words. Thanks for you guys for staying in here so I can jump in, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, we were, we were very I... chatty tonight. A lot, a lot of words. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I can't yeah. wait to listen tomorrow to hear Scorekeeper 69's hijinks. Yes. All right. Well, That's this it. has been uh, 161. we will be back next week with 162. More thoughts on uh, Returnal next week. Eric will uh, have maybe a little bit of time to play the Resident Evil. So we'll hear, yes. we'll hear some more about that. And maybe we can get Matt to play. What, what do we need Matt to do? What's his homework? So I'm going to assign him something to do. He needs to uh, <laughs> be more in a home run derby. You have to hit well, Matt, at least 25 up. Matt gave me the secret sauce, Eric. I was overcompensating. I was hitting the X button, and I really should have uh -huh. been hitting the A button. The A button? <laughs> Eric says, no, yeah. I hit X. I was hitting it. I was, I was hitting, hitting that. Let's see. We've got to have another Wednesday nighter. Yeah. All right. Until then, this has been 161, Swinging for the Fences. <laughs> Can't wait to 169. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey now. <laughs>
Who said that? <laughs> the, the, remix. the Butch Vig yeah, remix. The remix. <laughs> all right. Good night, everybody. See night, you. all.